Hi everyone, my name is Michael Drigalis and I lead the stream processing team at Confluent. I'm here to tell you about a set of technical blog posts about streaming databases that my team has published on the Confluent blog. What is a streaming database? It's like a traditional database flipped on its head. With a traditional database, most of the hard work happens at read time when it executes your query and scans your data. A streaming database, by contrast, does almost all of its work at write time. Your data is immediately processed as it's received and used to update the results of any registered queries. When applications want to read query results, they can look at all the ways the result has changed over time, something a traditional database can't do. If you're familiar with Kafka, you can probably take a guess at the basics of how a streaming database works. But what else needs to be solved to get it right? In this series, we introduce what we think are the most important topics of making a streaming database production ready. It's written by the same people who helped build KSQL DB, a streaming database available in Confluent Cloud. The series includes blog posts by Gorjong Wang, the technical lead of the KSQL DB team. He explains the design foundations and what the differences are between making a streaming database and a relational database reliable. Michael Knoll and Matthias Sachs, the technical leaders in Confluent's Office of the CTO and KSQL DB team, respectively. They show how SQL has been adapted from a language for data at rest into a language that can also handle data in motion too. Almog Gavra, the engineering manager of KSQL DB's query layer team. Almog takes us through how streaming databases cope with changes to query workloads without incurring downtime. We're excited to help pioneer these new ideas and we're more excited to share what we've learned with you.